Hello everyone and welcome back to another Top Korean Movies by Genre video. As always, I'm your host Ian from Ian Talk, and today's video will be on the best Korean disaster movies. The Korean movie industry has seen various disaster films the past years, with various genres mixed within the broader field of disaster movies. Some films have a more prominent focus on action, whereas others lean more towards comedy, and some even have elements of virus breakouts like with zombies. It'd be an understatement to say that there are numerous great disaster films out of Korea. Therefore, it'd be impossible to go through all of them in a single video. Thus, in today's video, I've compiled a list of 15 of my personal favorite disaster films. But before getting into the video, I'd like to remind you that this list is ranked based on my personal recommendations. This means that the movies will be totally biased towards my opinions. Okay then, that being said, let's get right into today's video on 15 Best Korean Disaster Movies. Starting off the list, the number 15 film is the 2016 released movie, Pandora. Pandora was directed by Park jong woo who also directed The Range, and starred Kim Nam-gil, Kim ju yeon Jung Jin-young, Kim Young-hae, Moon Jung-hee, and Kim Dae-myung. The film revolves around an explosion of a nuclear power plant caused by an earthquake that leads to a disaster which no one other than its workers can stop from spreading further. Next, the number 14 film is a relatively recent movie that was released in 2020, Alive. Alive was directed by Cho il Young, and this was his feature film debut. The movie starred Yu Wain and Park shin and the film is about the rapid spread of an unknown infection that has left an entire city in ungovernable chaos and a survivor remaining alive in isolation. The number 13 movie goes to the 2013 release movie, The Flu. Directed by Kim Sung Soo, who also directed City of the Rising Sun, Beat, and Azura, the City of Madness, this disaster film rose in popularity again last year as the pandemic started in real life. Starring Chang Yeop, Sue, and Pang Mina, the flu is about chaos that ensues when a lethal, airborne virus infects the population of a South Korean city less than 20 kilometers from Seoul. Moving along, the number 12 movie is another relatively recent film releasing last year, Peninsula. Peninsula was directed by Yeon sang ho and is the follow-up to the global masterpiece, Train to Busan. Starring the likes of Kang Dong-won, Lee Jong-hyun, Lee Ire, Kwon Hye-yo, Kim Min-jae, and Kyu gyo -hwan. Peninsula takes place four years after Train to Busan, when the zombie virus has spread all throughout the Korean peninsula. The number 11 movie goes to the 2016 film, Tunnel. This movie was directed by Kim sung hoon who also directed A Hard Day, and starred the actors Ha jong woo Pae Joon-ha, and Oh Dar-soo. The movie was especially notable as it revolves around a disaster that can happen to anyone on the road. The film is about a man that's on his way home, and when he drives through a poorly constructed tunnel, the tunnel collapses, leaving him trapped inside. Before moving into the top 10, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. If you would like to access more Korean movies through streaming services, I highly suggest using ExpressVPN to connect to servers from other locations to gain access to thousands of more content. By using ExpressVPN, you can bypass geo restrictions, meaning you can be from anywhere around the world and access the Korean and other country servers. If you'd like to access more Korean content like movies, dramas, and shows, be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link in the descriptions or expressvpn.com slash iantalk and get 49% off an annual plan, plus 3 extra months for free. Better yet, if you sign up and don't like the service, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning you can cancel any time within the first 30 days. A lot of the movies on this list are available in other country servers like the Korean, so be sure to check it out. Okay, now getting into the top 10. The number 10 film is the 2019 release movie, Ashfall. Co-directed by Lee Ye-jun and Kim Byung-seo, Ashfall had one of the biggest lineups starring the likes of Lee Byung-hun, Ha Jung-woo, Ma Dong-seok, Jeon Hye-jin, and Suji. The Korean title of the movie is Mount Baekdu, or Baekdu-san, which is an actual mountain on the Korean peninsula and because of this gave a very realistic element to the film. The movie is about that very mountain, which is also a volcano, and its sudden eruption that causes chaos in Korea. Next, the number 9 film is a movie that was released back in 2012, The Tower. 
The Tower was another great disaster film, and this makes sense as the film was directed by Kim Ji-hoon, who's got other disaster movies under his filmography. Starring Seo kyung gu Son Ye-jin, and Kim Sang-kyung, the movie takes place at a Christmas Eve party at a luxury residential building, and a horrific turn of events takes place when a fire breaks out. And the number 8 movie goes to a relatively older film, Heunde, aka Tidal Wave. Directed by Yoon jae Gyun, who directed another masterpiece, O To My Father, as well as the upcoming film, Hero, Heunde is one of three movies on this list that surpassed the 10 million box office number. Starring Seo kyung gu Ha Ji-won, Park Jung-un, and Om Jung-hwa, the film revolves around a massive tsunami headed for Heunde, a southern beach of South Korea, and the people of the marine city having to escape the disaster. Moving along, the number 7 movie is the most recent film on this list. Sinkhole. Sinkhole was directed by Kim Ji-un, the director of the number 9 film, The Tower. The film had an amazing cast of Cha Seung-won, Kim Seung-yoon, Lee Gwang-soo, and Kim Hye-jun, and this was one of the funniest movies I've seen that released thus far in 2021. The film revolves around an extremely large sinkhole that engulfs an entire villa building with the people inside it. Stuck deep down the hole, the survivors must find a solution before time runs out to survive. The number 6 movie goes to the 2012 film, The Ranged. This movie was directed by Park jong woo who was mentioned earlier for directing Pandora, and had Kim Young-min, Moon Jong-hee, Kim Dong-hwan, and Lee Han-hee as the main leads. The film has a very mysterious and dark tone to it, which is why I enjoyed it so much. The range revolves around trying to find a cure of a mysterious infection that causes people to drown themselves. And now, the top 5. Starting off the top 5, the number 5 movie is the 2013 film, The Terror Live. The Terror Live was directed by Kim byung woo who also directed Take Point and starred Ha jong woo Lee kyung young and Jeon Hye-jin. This thrilling disaster film is about an anchor that discovers he's been rigged with a bomb after he has an exclusive interview with a terrorist who terrorized Seoul by blowing up a bridge on the Han River. Moving on to the number 4 spot, the number 4 movie goes to one of the best comedic disaster films which was released in 2019, Exit. Exit was directed by Lee sang gun and this was his first feature film, which makes it that much more impressive. I found myself laughing out loud, as well as on the edge of my seat with this one. This had one of the funniest and thrilling moments, and Cho jung seok and Yuna were absolutely incredible in this. Exit is about a rock climber that tries to save the day when a mysterious white gas fills up an entire district in Seoul. Coming in at number 3 of my list of best Korean disaster movies is the 2013 film, Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer was directed by the one and only Bong Joon-ho. Directing masterpiece after masterpiece after another masterpiece such as Memories of Murder, Mother, and Parasite, Snowpiercer mainly had non-Korean actors, but the two Korean leads were two of the best, Song Kang-ho and Ko Ah-sung. The film takes place in the future where a failed climate change experiment has killed all life except for the lucky few who boarded the Snowpiercer, a train that travels around the globe. There, a new class system emerges. And now, just two movies left. Two of my favorite disaster movies. First, the number two film was a movie that released in 2016, Train to Busan. Directed by the previously mentioned Yeon Sang-ho, Train to Busan is one of the most globally acclaimed Korean movies. Recording over 10 million at the domestic box office, Train to Busan had an ensemble cast of Gong Yu, Jung Yumi, Ma Dong Seok, aka Don Lee, Kim Soo Han, Kim Yi Sung, Choi Yoo Sik, and An Zoe. This is one of the movies that really put Korea on its height of amazing zombie productions and revolves around a zombie virus that breaks out in South Korea and passengers on a train bound for Busan having to survive in the train's enclosed boundaries. And finally, the number one Korean disaster movie. The number one spot goes to the oldest film on this list that's a classic when it comes to Korean movies, The Host. The Host was directed by, once again, the legend Bong Joon-ho, who was mentioned earlier for directing Snowpiercer. This is a staple when it comes to not only disaster films, but action, thrill, mystery, SF, and so much more as it has a wide range of genres. The movie starred the amazing actors Song Kang-ho, Byun Hee-bong, Park Hae-il, Bae Do Na, and Ko Ah-sung, and is about a monster that emerges from the Han River, which begins to attack the people of Seoul. 
As with all the other films mentioned, I won't say too much about the film as I don't want to spoil anything. Anyways, a must watch if you haven't seen it, and even if you have, definitely worth the rewatch. And that's it for today's video on the best Korean disaster movies. Some films that you believe should have made it on this list may not have been included, but please remember that this list was based on my personal recommendations. Nonetheless, I'd love to hear which films you believe are deserving of the title Best Korean Disaster Movies, as well as films on this list that you've seen and enjoyed, so please leave a comment or join in on the discussions on the Ian Talk Telegram group linked in the descriptions. If you enjoyed this video and would like more similar content, be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN with my link to access more Korean movies and dramas. Finally, your support on Patreon will be very helpful in making more content. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one.